It's adorable. We're back at Disneyland. We're doing some stuff I've never done here before. And we're gonna try some new food. Go review Blue Bayou. Want to see the characters in all their new Halloween costumes. Uh, we're gonna ride on the little fire truck. Take us all the way down Main Street. Our Steve names Steve. are spelled differently. Oh. See, mine starts with an S. Mine ends with an E. There's the S. There's the E. Totally, totally different. different. Walt Disney himself used to drive this very vehicle from time to time. He'd use this to get around and check out the park. In fact, his last official photograph that he had taken here at Disneyland was on this very fire engine. He sat in the driver's seat, Mickey next to him in front of the castle, November of 66. I can see the fear in your eyes. Don't be nervous. Not all the rides go this fast. If you get scared, just do what I do when I drive. Close your eyes. <laughs> Let your heart rates get back to normal. <laughs> Have Thank a wonderful day. Steve said he's worked for the company for 49 years, then the other Steve has worked here over 50 years. Time to go into Pirates of the Caribbean. Sit closer together and keep your ready hands in the world. That'd be the best way to rebuild. Wonderful refurb for pirates. Nothing grand or life changing. They redid all the lighting, all the animatronics are running very smoothly. It was a good refresh. I haven't ridden the railroad in years. Here we go.
great as always, just a nice peaceful ride through Disneyland. We are starving, it is time for lunch now. Okay, here we are, Blue Bayou. A lot of people just walk by and they don't even realize the restaurant is here. Now, this is one of the only restaurants that are actually inside of a ride. So you can watch if you're by the water, watch the Pirates of the Caribbean boats go by. Uh, we got the menu. Um, they have removed the light. There used to be a light inside so you could see the menu. Budget cuts. I love the design, right? You open it up. This is where the light used to be. It's, That's um, yeah, you're right. it's not just mine, it's everyone's. It's been ripped out of everyone's. So there's no more lights. But uh, let's see what we're dealing with. They're always changing the menu around. So this is the seasonal offering. Uh, it's going to be the blood orange mint julep. There's the standard mint julep, which is a 10 out of 10 classic. Let's see how the blood orange one is. That's nice. It's like that sweet, you know, minty, refreshing mint julep with just a hint of a little orange on the back end. Not too much, not too potent, but that's really nice and refreshing. 9 out of 10, pretty solid. All right, you just tried a standard mint julep. What's wrong? It's so it's minty. I don't like minty stuff. Well, it's in the title, mint julep. Sadly, there's no more bread service. I used to love getting the bread service. So I would dip it in my gumbo and everything, but when did they cut that? Now, one of my favorite things here, it stood the test of time. Again, this menu changes so much, but the gumbo is always pretty much here. Uh, so I got the chicken gumbo. It's a starter. It's going to have a ham and dually sausage, pepper, tomatoes with steamed rice with chicken. It's enough where you feel satisfied, but you don't feel bloated. Packed full of flavor. Tender chicken. Ten out of ten. It's a must. I also got the Monte Cristo. How, how is it? Very good. It's huge. What did you order today, sir? The jum jambalaya. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. This looks very different than most Disney flays. Um, a lot of the flays at Disney are just kind of basic and generic. But this looks like something very special and different. Um, I got to cook medium. So guys, we got the filet mignon. I have patas bravas, pretty much just potatoes, spinach, lemon aioli, with a olive, patillo, pepper, tapenade. It's very earthy. Oh man, oh. That is flavorful. All right, we just finished. Bold flavors in there. I almost felt very Italian, right? It felt like I was having like a fine dining Italian meal with all the flavors of the rainbow in terms of like Italian food. You got kind of like the creaminess from the aioli. There's like that tomato paste in there. Very robust flavor. Big hefty steak. Nice and tender and juicy. Had a wonderful crust. Worth $55. Very rarely do I ever say that about anything here at Disney. But it was a nice hefty meal. You can split that. You or a couple. Get some appetizers. Split the steak. Quality meal. I think we'll do a 10 out of 10. It's a must. It's the first time in years that I have actually been impressed. The Blue Bayou, our first experience was great. Then I've been here many, many, many other times and quality was not here, service was not here. After having that meal, I'm back on board. Fully impressed. For dessert, I got the uh, layered chocolate coffee cake with vanilla bean, fantilli, and seasonal fruit compote. It looks small and dainty and elegant. Very rich. There's some coffee cake. Quite delightful. Subtle hints of coffee, but in this like chocolate cake, it's almost kind of like a paramisu or like a mousse. So much going on. To help kind of break that very richness, you get this wonderful like almost candied fruit that goes along with it. Decent little dessert. Do like an 8.5. I'm stuck. I'm happy the Disney service is back. We had a bunch of amazing servers, server assistants, hostesses. Everybody was great in Blue Bayou. I'm glad to see it come back to life. So management, good job there. All right, it's time to enter into the Disneyland Jungle Cruise. Welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Ashley and I'm going to be your skipper for as far as we make it. And for basis on my last couple cruises, don't worry, it's not going to be too far. something I've never done before. Don't come at me, but I have never done the great moments with Mr. Lincoln here at Disneyland. I know it's a classic. I've always been distracted with all the other rides here. The portrait of Lincoln, then they have a bust of Lincoln, and then people have put pennies down here. This says, young Walt Disney, right. Ready for a performance with school friend Walt. So to the right, that is Walt Disney dressing up as Abraham Lincoln, and his buddy was name was Walt. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. Mr. 
still in Gilgal. The world has never had a good definition of the word liberty. And the American people just now are much in want of one. We all declare for liberty. But in using the same word, we do not all mean the same thing. What constitutes the bulwark of our liberty and independence? It is not our frowning battlements, our bristling sea coasts. These are not our reliance against tyranny. Our reliance is in the love of liberty, which God has planted in our bosoms. Our defense is in the preservation of the spirit which prizes liberty as the heritage of all men, in all lands, everywhere. Destroy this spirit, and you have planted the seeds of despotism around your own doors. At what point shall we expect the approach of danger? By what means shall we fortify against it? Shall we expect some transatlantic military giant to step the ocean and crush us with a blow? Never. All the armies of Europe, Asia, and Africa combined could not by force take a drink from the Ohio or make a track on the Blue Ridge in a trial of a thousand years. At what point then is the approach of danger to be expected? I answer, if it ever reach us, it must spring from amongst us. It cannot come from abroad. If destruction be our lot, we ourselves must be its author and finisher. As a nation of free men, we must live through all times or die by suicide. Neither let us be slandered from our duty by false accusations against us nor frightened from it by the menaces of destruction to the government, nor of dungeons to ourselves. Let us have faith that right makes might. And in that faith, let us to the end dare to do our duty as we understand it. appreciate the game-changing thing that Walt did by creating that audio animatronic of Abraham Lincoln. But as a show in 21st century, kind of a uh, snooze a little bit. And there goes little Minnie. You look wonderful today, Minnie. You look wonderful. <laughs> oh.
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what? 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 Mickey, we've been waiting all day to meet you. I gotta say, after all these years, this might be my favorite outfit of you. It's adorable, and you're still dapper as always. Minnie looks great. Goofy, I don't know, how did he get stuck in a tree? He's not the brightest one. He was helping Pooh out, get some honey, and fell in. That's probably what happened, right? So adorable. Uh, we're heading off to Disney's California Adventure now. Oh my god, is this the model that said Epcot on that photo? Oh my god, behind the seeds tour? Wow, oh my gosh. We're with Disney royalty right now. X royalty. Captain America is out right now meeting some kids. Okay guys, we're back at home. Uh, let's kind of talk about our little Disneyland trip. Yes, I did shoot that last year. I have like four more Disneyland videos that I still have to edit. But I went to Disneyland, at, I think as much as I went to Disney World last year, which is insane. And I just have such a more enjoyable time at Disneyland because you never know what's gonna be around the corner, what magical moment you're gonna run into. Is Disneyland perfect? No, they still got some stuff they need to work on. But in terms of like enjoyable experiences coming to Disney, over here at Disney World, we have quantity. And then over in Disneyland, they have quality, right? The food is so much better. The atmosphere and performances and characters are just so much better and so much more interactive and lively and you feel like you're immersed in this world where when you're in Disney World, it just kind of feels like this weird copy of Disneyland. I know I'm always kind of like negative about Disney World because of the current state of it. So I always suggest go to Disneyland if you've never been there before or if you've not been there in a couple years, you're gonna have a great time, right? Disneyland has this wonderful charm to it that Disney World is missing. We have more Disneyland videos coming, but my YouTube eight year rewind drops on January 13th. It takes a very, very long time to produce these things, so I'm really excited for you guys to watch it, and I, I hope you enjoy it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you have not already, hit the subscribe button, join the family. It's a tortilla. Because I'm gonna keep you up to date on all things Disney and theme park around the country. All right, guys, I love you all, and I'll see y'all very soon. It's Mitty, I don't like Mitty stuff. Hey, no, no, no. For an unknown price, they have a uh, new ears. They have a uh, Dorito ears, it looks like.